Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. How's everybody doing out there in YouTube land? So, hopefully I got a good one for you today. We're going to do some creature base. I'm pulling out some molds today. Uh, I'm going to do the Anglin AI. Um, I should probably open these up and show them to you, huh? Oh, I should have had this already done. Oh, what a terrible host I am. Let's see if I can get these done fast. All right. Where was I? All right, so today we are going to do the 4-inch Knuckle Dragger by uh, Anglin AI. One of my favorite go-to baits uh, when it comes to uh, dragging the bottom. And then we're going to do the 3.25 Stinger Bait uh, from Anglin AI. One of my go-to baits for trailers, like on jigs and stuff like that. I even put them on like um, swim jigs and stuff. And then my newest mold, which is the eight, I'm sorry, 6.8 millipede right here. So I've only shot this and what you guys saw me do with 8-bit uh, baits there a couple weeks ago. And I want to see some uh, other colors and stuff like that. So we're going to do some colors today that I have not used yet. Or sorry, we're going to do a color today that I have not used yet. And that is from Lure Works and it's called Mint Brown. I was looking on my shelf here just a little bit ago and I realized I have not shot this color yet. Look, even the top's all cleaned up. It's ready to go. It's open. But I have not shot it. And then I thought we would do some uh, Blue Crawl by Dead On Plastics there. Or Dead On, sorry. Stuff like that. But I'm going to... Uh, get some plastic saw out and we're going to start cooking some plastic so i'll be back all right everybody so i forgot to tell you in the intro i just finished the intro but we're going to add to the intro uh the reason i am doing creature base today is i have a special surprise for you at the end of this video something i've been working on for a little while i think you'll enjoy it and i think we'll have fun with it in the future on this channel and stuff like that also i'm going to pan you guys to my glitters because, let's see if I can do this professionally, we need to find some glitter to go with this uh, mint brown. So I've never seen this color. So I'm pretty sure I want some .040 black glitter with it. But I also want like, I want to put two other glitters with it and stuff like that. I thought about blue, but I think I'm gonna put blue with the blue crawl. So I don't want two base with blue glitter in it. So I'm thinking maybe, Maybe purple. Purple in uh, point zero one five. Can you guys see that? There we go. And then maybe something to kind of like add to it. I'm thinking maybe either gold or silver. So I'm not really sure. Let's go with gold. How's those all look together? I think that'll work. Going for like this natural looking with a little bit of purple in it. I think that might look pretty good. Let's make this bait. All right, everybody, let's make this new color. So we're going with Mint Brown by Lure Works here. So I think this is a couple plastic saw. This is Crawling Tube by Dead On Plastic. We are going to do, let's do five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see where that starts us out. So I think this is going to be a pretty thick uh, pigment here. Okay. Wow, it's got like a mint green to it, like it says. Or mint chocolate. Or mint brown, sorry, mint brown, sorry. Okay, let's do let's do five more. Let's do five more. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Yeah. So as you can see it's really brown. And then as it thins out, it turns that, that mint brown color. It's got like a mint color to it. All right, cool. I like that. So on the flake, like I said earlier, let's do a quarter teaspoon of the black flake. This is the bigger one. This is a 0 .040. So we'll do one quarter teaspoon of that. All right. Then on the gold... Do I want to put the gold in? Yeah, I want to put the gold in there. I think the gold will be fine. We're going to do a sixteenth of a teaspoon and a cup of plastic saw. Just like that. But I don't think I'm going to do the purple. I think I'm going to make an executive decision here and change the purple out for a different color. So let's go ahead and put the purple back up on the shelf there. Sorry, purple. 
I think I'm going to switch that out for teal. So we're going to do uh, 0 0.015 in teal because it has kind of like a greenish teal color to it. So that'll kind of accent it. And we're going to do 1 16th of a teaspoon of that. All right, that's our color right there. So a little bit of a little bit of change up there. Let's mix this together and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a good idea. That teal looks great. Look at that. Oh, that's good looking. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that'll work. Sweet. Let's vacuum this and shoot some baits. All right, everybody, this is up to temperature. Let's shoot these. So as you can see, the centipede mold is missing. And whoops, I just kicked the table. Well, I'm going to shoot the centipede. I just don't want to shoot it with crawl and tube from Dead on Plastic. I want to shoot it with worm from Dead on Plastic. So I'm going to make up the exact same color as this is for the centipedes. Whoa, don't rock. And we'll make sure we have those baits too. So, in the same color. But yeah, I think crawl and tube's a little too too tough of a plastisol for the millipedes. I know they're really big baits, but they're real skinny, and I want them to be more like a worm effect, you know what I mean? So, we're gonna let this cool down for a minute, and I'll show you what they look like. All right, everybody, let's take a look at these. As you can see, the centipede mold is here. I shot it already. Same exact rec recipe as these ones, except for these ones are in, in uh, crawl and tube, and this one's in worm as far as the plastisol. So, let us go ahead and take a look at these stingers. I am excited. Almost came out. Oh no, not come out. I'll get it off. Oh, oh, these are all all messed up. We'll try laying back in there just a little bit. There we go. Wow, I really like that color. That's cool. Check that out. Let's get them out of the mold and take a good look at those. Yeah, those are cool. That was right. That was the right recipe for that. I like those. Yeah, those are cool. Those will work. Sweet. And the reason I shot the centipedes um, and didn't show it on camera is because I got to save time because I got a surprise to show you guys all at the end of this video. So, or towards the end of this video. All right, knuckle draggers, come on out. We got one coming out on the top. Two. There we go, coming out on the bottom. Oh yeah, that's that's really cool. See how the tips of the knuckle draggers are brown, but these are like kind of like that mint color. Yeah, that's a good color. That's a really good color. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that every day of the week. All right, let's get make room for this big guy here. You ready? Big old centipede. Uh, they came out pretty pretty clean but there we go i got them look at that that's a cool color in that too like i was saying this one's in worm these two are in crawling tube let's take a look at these because i want these to have more of a a waviness to them see how floppy they are those look great all the legs look good on them backs look good actually i think these are the top yeah this is the top this is the back. Heck yeah. Sweet. I dig them. All right. On to the next color. All right. So we're ready to uh, make this color. I got you down here close. So you can actually see this. So we're going to start with 30 drops of dead on plastic blue crawl. So one, 28, 29, 30. All right. Then we're going to do one drop. I'm going to grab a rag so I don't put two drops in there. Get ready to catch them. We'll do one drop of black. Gotcha. And one drop of blue. Gotcha. And let's mix this up. And there, look at that. That is an awesome color of blue crawl right there. Look at that. Look at that. Looks amazing. So this is in a cup of Plastisol, and I used all dead-on plastics um, uh, color pigments. 
So we're gonna on the blue, we're gonna do uh, 0 0.015. We're gonna do one sixteenth of that. All right. Then we're gonna do uh, 0 0.040, zero, and we're gonna do a full quarter teaspoon of that one. And that's the flake. And we're just going to drizzle on top of this and stir it up. Look at that. You see it? It was pretty dark in the cup there. Now, what? look at that. Look at that. That's a cool color. All right, let's vacuum this up and shoot it. All right, everybody, you ready to see these? So, I shot them already. I didn't show me actually using the injector stuff. Just trying to save a little bit of time. But let's take a look at this blue crawl color here so i did the uh two swim uh two uh creature baits in crawling tube and of course i did the centipedes and worm again so all right let's take a look at them come out on this side yep look at that yeah that's what i'm talking about those came out awesome let's put this to the side here let's grab these out of there and take a look at them check that out yeah it looks great see how you can see through it but then it kind of turns brown in the body there. Oh, yeah, those came out perfect. All right, let's take out these uh, knuckle draggers. All right. Let's see if they're going to be nice to me and come out nice. Oh, come out on that side too again. Huh, it's weird. All right. Check those out. Yes. So I really like in the knuckle draggers how the tips of the claws there or creature legs or whatever, you can see like the brown hue into them. Let's take them out and take a look at them. So, yeah, check that out. Sweet. I dig it. I dig it. Let's put these to the side. Put these back over there. All right, now it's time for a big boy. Big old centipede here. Oh, I'm going to come out on that side mostly oh they came out okay they came out okay we'll uh, put these back in here real fast try to fix them up a little bit all right check those out wow those came out looking spectacular let's take those out man that color was made for that mold that's cool see how you can see through the tips here but then it turns brown wow let's take a look at one of these look at that that looks awesome wow that's so cool all right i dig them all right so i told you that i had a surprise for you towards the end of this video and here is part of the surprise so check this out this is a pocket fishing pole and is a line through look how little that reel is so here's my hand look how little that reel is because a little drag because of some three pound line on it i put a texas rig on it this might give away what i'm getting ready to do here in just a minute so I'm going to hit this button, and this actually extends out a little bit like that. And then you could actually put your hook back into the hook holder there as it wraps around the fishing pole there. I left the line that came with it on it. Probably worked fine for what we're getting ready to do. And there we go. A nice little pocket fishing rod, little top, and it's called a Proficiency. So I'll read you a couple things about it here on the little paper here. Uh, the Proficiency Pocket Combo says you can take it uh, traveling, hiking, camping, kayaking. Uh, tiny uh, tangle free telescope rod. Uh, tiny spin cast reel comes on it. Uh, has a 2.5 to 1 gear ratio. Strong 3 pound line. And it says on the side here 20 inch telescopic rod retracts to 14 and a half inches for easy storage. So it says tiny but mighty so i got this at walmart if you're looking for like a little fishing pole to put in your car or truck or something like that or when you're backpacking or something like that so this would be cool to get so but let me show you why i got this all right everybody so here's the big surprise we now have a test tank in our shop i've turned all the lights out in my shop here except for the test tank as you can see in the cave over here I have 12 rosy red minnows in there just to give it some uh, character. 
I do plan on putting some plants in the future there. And I actually have the mint brown knuckle dragger tied onto that little pole I just showed you there just a few, a few minutes ago. And we're gonna lower this into the tank and see how she looks. All right, here we go, you ready? Oh yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. Don't worry guys, I won't hurt you with this thing. I won't go into the tunnel, look at that. All right, it's coming into the play. Look at that. That's cool. I think a bass will go for that color. That thing looks good. All right, that's the first one. Let's do another one. All right, everybody, so I got the uh, little stinger on in blue crawl. We're gonna put it in there and see how it looks. Look at that. Let me get myself a little bit more line there. Look at that color. I also pulled it apart so the appendages will move around. What's up, Rosie Red? You coming to check it out? You aren't afraid of that, are you? That's cool. Heck yeah, we got ourselves a test tank. I'm excited. This is its debut. All right, it's coming in the screen. Ready? That's cool. That is really, really cool. All right, let's do one more. All right, here we got the blue crawl. Let's see how it looks like under the lights there. So here we go, going in the fish tank. Oh yeah, that is cool. Wow, that thing has some serious action. This is a big bait for this tank too. That's what I wanted to test this out. Look at that. So this looks like it's feeding. Lays down flat. Feeding. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Rosie Red, watch out, buddy. Don't get hit by this. There you go. Look at that. That's cool. Bring it up. I think it can actually go through the water with like some, some jigging. That is really, really cool. I am digging that. Then let it drop. That's freaking sweet. I'm excited about that. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for this one. I appreciate you watching this video. And if you wouldn't mind, please like, subscribe, and share. And tell me down in the comments what you feel about the new test tank. I think it's a really cool addition to the shop there. I've been wanting to make one of those for a very long time. I'm really glad that I came upon this. I think it's really cool that I can actually test the baits with, like, Kind of a real pole and stuff like that also let me know if you've ever caught any kind of fish on any kind of pocket rod like this maybe in the future i will take this out and i will do a video on it where i actually catch a real fish on this but that is going to do it like i said for this one but before you go let's take a look at these baits